Hi, I'm Danielle from Our Roaming Hearts and I want to welcome you to the channel. Today I am sharing how I am packing for an eight day trip coming up in just a carry on suitcase. I'm all set up behind me. I will be heading out to Wyoming, doing Jackson, Wyoming, the Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, heading up to the TBEX conference in Billings, Montana, checking out some stuff out there. I'll be gone eight days. It will be crazy busy, but I will be filming so much content for you guys and pictures and blog posts that it's going to keep me busy for months. So let's get started. Before we get started too much, I just wanted to share with you everything I have laid out here just so you get a full idea because you may not be able to see it all once I position the camera and start packing. This is what I have. We're going to get ready to pack. I'm going to be explaining some tips and everything as we go. Okay, so a few tips. What I have done is I have basically laid out all the stuff that I'm looking at packing and I've divided it into different sections. I've got my pants, shirts, I've got tank tops because I'm going to Montana and I want to be able to dress in layers. So I have some tank tops to wear in regular clothes. I have some more thicker tank tops for like hiking. I do have my hiking clothes. I have my sleep clothes. I have socks, bras, underwear. I have over here, I have swimsuits and sweaters and jackets. And then I do have shoes, toiletries, my straightener. A few things that I need to take for the business conference, a foldable bag to put in, and a trash bag to separate dirty clothes. So what I've done, and I didn't film this because you didn't need to see this over the last few days, I organized my stuff and then I would go through it and I'd pull things out that I decide not to take. Because you always are going to overpack in the beginning. So lay it all out and then you can pull stuff out. I have a laundry basket over here of things that I've already pulled out that I decided that I'm not going to take. So that's there and I'm sure as I'm packing I'll probably pull some more things out. I am going to be gone for eight days and this is what I'm packing. What I did do is in the national parks I'm not really going to have access to laundry but I made sure I am staying someplace when I get into Billings that has laundry. So really I only have to pack about four to five days worth of stuff and then I can wash it and wear it again. So don't judge me when you see me wearing the same clothes from this trip more than once. There's a couple different methods that seem really popular when packing your suitcase. And a lot of people say, roll it up. That seems to be the topic that you hear all the time. Roll it up. Roll things up. But I want you to just look. When you roll up something like this shirt, it becomes thick. And while it doesn't take up a lot of space this way, there is a lot of air in there and that takes up a lot more room. So I am a big fan of the lying flat method, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Also, you wanna plan the outfit that you're gonna to wear to the airport or while you're traveling. If you're able to do a laundry stop, this is big. But even if it isn't, you wanna be comfortable, but you don't wanna be so comfortable that it prohibits your packing. And here's what I mean. I am taking three pairs of jeans, but unless I get these disgustingly dirty, I will wear them two days in a row. So I will wear a pair of jeans on the flight so that I'm only putting two pairs of jeans in here. Now I will be taking three pairs of shoes, more dress shoes, my tennis shoes, hiking shoes, and I'm a floral girl. So I'm taking my flip flops. Yes, they are croc flip flops. They are comfortable. And these are what I wear if I'm just running out to grab something and I'm not going for long hikes or I'm just going to walk around somewhere that I'm not doing a lot of hiking. Those are comfortable for me, Florida girl. So when I go to the airport, I'm gonna be wearing my bulky shoes. So these are a lot bulkier than these or these. In fact, I can pack both pairs of these into the space that it would take for the pair of these. So you wanna think about stuff like that. Wear the jewelry that you're going to be taking with you so you're not having to pack it. First thing I want to do is to say, check your suitcase. Mine at the bottom has this little zip pouch here, so you can access underneath. So let me stand this up and show you. But you get under here and you see it has these bars. I'm holding the suitcase actually upside down. These are the bars for your handle when you're rolling it around. But if you just 
leave the, this open, you're basically packing on top of this and leaving a good two inches of space where you're not able to put anything. So I open it up and in here I pack my underwear, my socks, bras, any type of tank tops, anything that I can lay that's smaller that I can lay flat in here. So another tip is your socks. This is how I store my socks inside my dresser so that I can find the pairs. But look at how much space this takes up. Take your socks, lay them flat on top, lay the pairs together, pack them flat like this. So I'm gonna get going on packing the under, my underwear, my bras, and my socks. Okay, once you have the stuff packed to the bottom, you kind of want to squeeze it and let all the air out. You're going to want to kind of compact it some. Also, you're probably going to have these little straps which come in really handy for buckling your clothes in. You're going to want to make sure you kind of lay those over the edge as you're packing so that they're easier to find later. Okay, this is where my lay flat method comes in. Now, these are pretty bulky laying like this. But if you unfold them, and put the waist at the top, and pack it in, and only fold it over there, okay? And fold it in. Then the next pair that you do, you want to go the opposite. So I put the waist of my jeans at this end. This time, I'm going to put the waist of my jeans at this end. Both pairs of jeans packed. I pulled out a separate pair of jeans for me to wear on my flight. Again, making sure that these straps stay over. Okay, now I'm going to put in my sleep pants. These are just basically yoga pants that you pick up at Target. They're comfortable, they're easy for me to sleep in. It is supposed to get down to the 40s, 30s and 40s at night, so I am packing pants versus shorts. And I'm basically doing the same thing. Okay, now I'm also going to put my hiking pants here as well. There you want to do another kind of smush down, especially around the edges. Okay. Pants in. <laughs> now, the next thing you're gonna do is pack. You could do shirts next. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I'm actually going to do my tank tops because and my hiking shirt because I can kind of get those around the edges. Um, the middle is kind of a bit thicker, so right now from the pants, so I can get these kind of folded around the edges to give me kind of an even plain, even thing here. So I'm not gonna fold them up too much. This shirt is really, really thin. And by the way, I will leave a link to this in the description. I am kind of in love with this shirt right now. Run like your 10 years are up. Supernatural fans will get it. Let me know if you get the reference in the description or in the comments below. And I will leave a link for this in the description. I did see a great meme floating around that said, as you're packing, lay out all your clothes and all your money, take all the money and half the clothes. Or it was double the money and half the clothes, something like that, I thought it was really fun. Now I've got this dress, this is gonna have to be hung up when I get there, but I'm bringing one dress because it is going to, I am going to be at a business functions and left with my sleep shirts, my daytime shirts. I do have a bathing suit and a cover because this function is being held at a hotel that has an amazing pool. And I was told by someone a while ago that always pack a swimsuit because you don't want to be left out of an invite just because you don't have a swimsuit. 
And while I haven't been swimming in a really long time, that still resonates with me. If I can't fit the swimsuit in, it's not gonna be a big loss to me, but I am gonna try to pack it. Now I also have my jacket. Now this is another bulky item, and I'm flying from Florida, so I'm gonna look a little weird in September flying with a jacket, but this will be something that I wear onto the plane or I will put it over my arm and then it'll be in my lap when I'm on the plane. So I'm not packing this. This is just, it's going with me, but it's not actually going in my suitcase. But it's also a good blanket or a good pillow as well. So then I'm taking this little sweater. I think it would look good over some of those um, thicker tank tops. It's kind of light. And I have this sweater, but it's so thick, I'm thinking I'm not gonna take it. And this is the process I take. You know, I'll, I'll put out the stuff that I think I want to take, and then uh, there's always stuff I don't. Um, I love this sweater. I actually picked it up when I was in Asheville, North Carolina for Christmas last year. And it's just like a little poncho sweater, and it's so soft and so comfortable, but I don't think I'm gonna have room, so I'm gonna put this back. All right. Now I'm going to pack my sleep shirts because these are again something I don't really care if they get wrinkled because really no one's going to see me see my sleep clothes unless someone's pounding on my door at 3 a.m. In which case I'm calling the cops and not answering so don't do that. So I've got some several long sleeve ones and I believe two short sleeve. I'm taking five of them because my short sleeve ones are also ones that I will wear um, out hiking or I will actually just throw on as a, like this one, jeans and a t-shirt. So again, I will lay them flat and then fold the sleeves. I like to kind of keep the sleeves folded to the side because that takes up that space on the side. Bear with me, I know it's starting to look full, but just trust me. Now, and you just want to watch, like right now, because I've now stacked the sides, the center is pretty empty. So I'm going to fold this one just enough to go in the center. The big key is to make sure that you maximize your space and you want to keep things flat as much as possible. Okay, now I've come to my shirts that I have laid out to take. As I said before, I don't need but four to five days worth of clothes, so you will see me in a shirt that I wear probably in Jackson again, you know, several days later in Billings because I will be doing a laundry stop. I do have several short sleeve shirts and a few long sleeve as well. So now I need to decide what I'm actually taking. Since I only have two long sleeve, I think I'm definitely going to take these, but I am gonna check the weather just to be sure. So the high in Jackson when I'm going to be there is going to be about 70 degrees with a low of 33 to 34 degrees. Billings, and I find this funny because Billings is further north than Jackson, Wyoming is, but Jackson is up in the mountains in the Grand Tetons. So Billings has a high of about 80 degrees with a low of around 54. So I am gonna pack my two longer sleeve shirts. Again, now I lost my little strap. Make sure you keep your straps out. Very important because this is how you're gonna kinda squish it all in. So now that I have that, now I've got to decide what of my short sleeve stuff I'm gonna take. So I do have the t-shirts too for the days that I'm in the national parks. It's me, gonna be me. I'm not really meeting with people specifically. I'll be meeting with you guys and you'll see me in my, <laughs> but I, I don't have any face-to-face -face meetings set up. And don't fret, I'm gonna show you how I get the rest of the stuff into my suitcase. Now I'm gonna go for it. I am gonna take the bathing suit. Chances are I probably won't use it but I guess it's better to have so that I don't have to turn down those, those invites. And maybe I'll jump into Jackson Lake. <laughs> maybe I'll be that crazy, we'll see. And then this is just a swimsuit cover-up dress. Okay, 
Now that the clothes are done, this is where you want to strap it over. And this is where these straps come in really, really handy because they'll help kind of smush things down even more. All right, now let's get out what I have left to pack. Okay, I had to go back in because I forgot to pull out one of the tank tops and a shirt to wear, so I will have those set off to the side and I will wash them and then be able to wear them again in Billings, but I will wear them on the flight. This is what I have left. I have this little zip up carry-on. Now, I don't always bring this with me, but because I'm going to be meeting with a lot of travel brands and I'm going to be meeting with a lot of reps, um, I want to make sure that I'm able to bring back all the paperwork that they're going to give me. and. From my experience last year at TBEX, it's a lot of paperwork. Um, and I want that paperwork because it's a lot of information, a lot of contact information on it. Uh, I did last year, I sent a UPS box home and because it's paperwork and it's so thick, it was, it was like 50 bucks to send something home. So I've checked my airline ticket and it is gonna be cheaper to put, to check a bag and um, have a bag go home with me than it will be to mail something home. So what I will put in here, I will put basically my dirty clothes, um, stuff that, yeah, if the clothes get lost, it's gonna suck because I like my clothes, but it's not a huge deal. I'll be at home, I'll have plenty of clothes at home, and what girl does not love an excuse for a shopping trip? So I'll put my clothes in here, and then I will put the important business paperwork, my electronic stuff that I don't want to lose in my bag. So this, I will put in the little zip, well, zip up case here. And then I also have my folder that has all my um, itinerary. It has my schedule, it has the conference schedule, it has any um, confirmations, my hotel confirmation, my um, airline confirmation tickets, the conference confirmation tickets, it has all that, all what's in here. and then. I put my receipts and everything in here along the way because this is a business trip. Okay, I also will put in my hair straightener. I don't bring a hair dryer because I find most places will have a hair dryer. And generally I am not so concerned about doing my hair on a trip. I will um, take a shower at night after I've been hiking and been out all day, take a shower and I will kind of let my hair air dry while I do just a little bit of work and then go to bed, and then in the morning I'll get up and I'll just straighten my hair, so it's one less thing that I actually have to pack. Now I do bring a trash bag, because I am getting a rental car, so I will be in a rental car through for the week, and I will take my dirty clothes and put them in a trash bag to keep them separate. I can put the bag into the back of the trunk, and then um, put it with me, because I will not have to pack like this again until I get ready to leave Billings. All right. My toiletries. Now I have one that has all the liquids and stuff that has to meet the TSA standards. One that is like my brush, my makeup, my toothbrush. I will be doing a separate video on kind of what I pack uh, just to make sure that it fits. But generally I will put the, these into like my personal item or what I'll be doing this trip and I'm keeping these out because I'm going to shoot a quick video after this. Um, but I will put this in here. And this does stretch. And then I'm able to just zip it up. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> a rabbit can run across the yard and he barks. Um, but I'll zip that up and then it's right there for TSA. Pull it out and put it right back in. Okay, now I'm gonna zip this up just to show you that it can be zipped up. Okay, nice and easy. Now, I did take my bulky tennis shoes and I put them over here because these I'm going to wear on the plane. They are a bit of a hassle through TSA having to take them off, put them back on. I would much rather wear my flip flops, but these would take up so much more room. I'm going to put both pairs of these shoes in here, whereas I would only be able to get these in there. So I'm going to wear these and I'm going to pack these. Now this suitcase is a trooper. I have had it for many years, so I kind of know what it can handle. It's got, a, it's got some wear and tear, um, but I will link to this. I picked it up on Amazon, and it just it expands, and it's it's a trooper. Uh, my business cards are also going to be going with me in my personal item because I never know who I'm going to hand these out to. Just to show you, 
Nothing fancy for my information, front and back. And I don't have YouTube on here, but this is a newer channel. This trip, next year I will. Now let's talk personal items. Your personal item is generally a backpack or purse, ladies. You want to maximize this. If you have those little purses that you carry around, think bigger. <laughs> Get a tote bag, put that little purse inside the tote bag, flatten the purse out and put it in here and put your stuff into a bigger bag. Bigger bag. This is like, this is what I like to bring with me. Now I have a couple things in here at the moment that are gonna be shifted around, but this is just a tripod. I've got gum because I gum for the airplane, uh, a couple charging cords in here. So this is a tote bag that has a spot for my computer, a padded spot for my computer. And then it has this little thing here where I can slip a cord in. It has a little cord here so I can, um, it's a little USB port. I can plug my phone cord in and my external power bank will be in here attached to this and I can charge my phone without having to have wires all over the place. And then I can just tuck in my phone right in here, like so, while it's charging and it's not a whole bunch of wires. Now, and then, like I said, I will, literally I will put my wallet in here. It has, I'll link to this again, Amazon. I love Amazon. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has little pockets that are perfect for like lip gloss and even like little card holders. So I put my makeup stuff right in here. My laptop will go, can go here and then I've got room. I literally just take my wallet and then I will shove stuff in here. I have been known to come home with clothes in here, paperwork, um, stuff that just after I pack this, because you always come home with more stuff than you leave with. So get a huge tote bag and you will thank yourself for it. But this year I'm gonna see if I can somehow cram this maybe back into here. I'm gonna try it. I may not be taking that because I'm going with the backpack. Now I'm not gonna show you how I pack this this time because this is mostly going to be my camera equipment because I am hitting Yellowstone, I am hitting the Grand Tetons, I am hitting um, Little Bighorn National Battlefield, Pompey's Pillar, um, uh, Chief Plenty Coop State Park, um, Jackson, Wyoming, Billings, and a bunch of just absolutely beautiful things. And I haven't really talked too much about it, but I have started selling a lot of my photos for stock photos, and I'm still working on some of the kinks, but I will be doing a video and a post on what I have learned, and I have already made some money. So this is going to be, and again, an Amazon purchase. Um, I use my free Amazon gift cards. I'll link to how I do that below. But this is going to be my camera bag. Um, and this is, these are all, these all come out and move around as I need them. So my planning is this will fit my laptop here. So my laptop will go here. My big camera, my DSL camera will go here. I have, um, I'm not going to be taking a bunch of lenses. I'm bringing just the camera and I invested in a lens that shoots close up, um, and all the way up to, uh, 200 mm further away. So I'm just taking the one lens. I'm not taking my, my bigger lens. So I've got that here. And then I will have my camera that I'm shooting on right now. It's just a little Sony camera and there's room for that here. And it's in its own little case. I can put that here. And then I will be bringing a GoPro. Uh, and it's not, I'm not bringing the actual, it's not an actual GoPro. It's like an off brand, but it works really well. And it's a tiny little thing. That's also going to go here um, because I'm going to be doing some scenic drives for you. The drive around Jenny Lake and Yellowstone and the Beartooth Highway. That's all going to be shot as well. That's going to go in here along with any of the little accessories. Um, and then I've got several different, I've got the little bendy tripod there. I've got a couple different tripods, a little selfie stick thing here. Um, I can take these out and that can all go right here is the plan. Any other accessories, batteries, SD cards, all that can go in here. And then I've also got, and I'll be doing a video better with all the stuff that I'm bringing. But I've also got, you know, this little USB card charger that I'm going to bring so I can charge stuff as needed. 
that's all gonna go in here. And then I've got a little thing here. I can put extra stuff in. So that's all what is gonna be basically in here. I might rearrange things just a little bit. This is the first time that I will be traveling with this, so things might be rearranged just a little bit. But this is just YouTuber, blogger, life related. For those of you that are packing massive amounts of electronics and equipment that you do not want to check and you want you don't want to put in the overhead, you want to keep those as safe as possible. So that's why these are going in the backpack and these will go at my feet. And I did measure this does meet the qualifications to be a personal item for the airline that I'm flying with. And um, But if you're not doing all that, get the tote bag. I made the mistake one year and I didn't think big enough for my tote bag. Try to really max out the size that they allow you to have. And I had to use like an actual tote bag that I got at the conference. So just think bigger. It's always better to have too much space. And if you prefer to have your little purse, that's fine. Stick it in here and then you can pull it out when you get to where you're going and you can use that instead of the big tote bag. But this, you definitely want to use this on your trip on your flight especially. Okay, that is all I have for you. I would love to hear in the comments, take a moment, let me know what are some of your packing tips? How do you pack for extended travel, for weekend travel even? I would love to hear your packing tips. Maybe you've got something I haven't heard of that I can incorporate on my next trip. So leave those in the comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon to get notifications. I will be filming my toiletries, tricks, and tips. I will be filming a solo traveling tips and tricks and a traveling as a woman tips and trips, tips and tricks, along with all my Jackson, Wyoming, Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, and Billings, Montana, and T-Bex information coming up in the weeks coming. I look forward to connecting with you and make sure that you check out the information that's on your screen now and you will find some more amazing videos and an amazing playlist.